Hello everyone and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios. Today, the six types of alpha male. Alphas come in many different forms, which you'll find after you've unplugged from society's programming and carve yourself into an alpha, is that you'll tend towards one of these directions. All of these are effective for seducing women, though not all are considered societally acceptable. Read the following and think about which of these you might be. Here we go. Enjoying my content? Check out my blog at heliosblog.com. On YouTube, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'm also on Spotify if you prefer a podcast. If you're interested in my books, The Strategist's Guide to Seduction and Quotes to Live By, they're available on Amazon. In addition, you can follow me on Patreon at The Helios Blog for exclusive content. On with the show. Number one, the Air Alpha. The Air Alpha is characterized by a sheer lack of commitment to anything. Commitment is simply not for them. Drifters, hobos, and starving artists will all fall into this category. They usually have difficulty with money, but they don't care because they don't need it. They're extremely attractive to women because they're detached from everything. It's extremely hard for anyone to pull them back to earth, and many women spend their whole lives trying. Air alphas literally have their heads in the cloud. Russell Brand is an example of an air alpha. He never stays with anyone or anything for very long, and is extremely detached from everything. You can feel it in his style and mannerisms. He simply does not need or want anyone or anything for very long. People that are extremely freedom-seeking tend towards being this kind of alpha. Number two, the water alpha. The water alpha is characterized by their life philosophy, live and let live. They do things their own way and allow others to do things their own way as well. They very rarely do things like everyone else, preferring to carve their own path. Water alphas are often entrepreneurs or people who don't see life the way others do. Some artists fall into this category, as well as do some scientists. They tend to go their own way and women find this very attractive. They have a clear direction, which is different to those around them. Women often chase that. Women are also surprised how little pressure the water alpha puts on them. Water alphas often allow the women in their lives to do as they please when they're not near them. Women feel an extreme sense of freedom while being with them, and thus are usually very relaxed and comfortable around them. Water alphas have lots of sex as a result, but have difficulty with traditional relationships. Keanu Reeves would be an example of a water alpha. Even though he's an actor, he's remained relatively normal and not ostentatious like the average actor. He's very chill and lets people do their own thing despite, their own, uh, despite his own position in life. Number three. The Earth, the Earth Alpha. Earth Alphas are extremely sturdy and dependable. They absolutely will not budge on who they are or what they believe in, no matter what anyone says. They are stubborn to a fault and unbending in will. Women find men like this attractive because none of their f feminine wiles work on them. Earth Alphas are simply too stubborn to ever bend to the will of another person. Women test and test and finally fail as they realize that nothing they'll ever try will bend a boulder to her will. Women tend to submit to his frame or leave annoyed. Earth alphas like to get their own way and need the people around them to do exactly as they want. Often, these types get into traditional relationships and have constant arguments with their partner where they refuse to budge. Clint Eastwood would be an example of an earth alpha. He is unashamedly himself and stands by his own opinions, regardless of what other people think, believe or want. He is a crotchety, unbending, old alpha male. Many women still see him as extremely attractive, despite his very old age. Number four, the fire alpha. Fire alphas are what they sound like, explosive. They're either very happy and bombastic, or angry and destructive. They're often the center of attention. Fire alphas get into fights often and are easily annoyed, causing them to explode. Women love them because they're never boring. Even if they're abusive physically, the constant highs and lows are cocaine to many women. Women love men like this. Many drug-taking men are fire alphas who use drugs to make themselves even more happy or excitable. I'm sure you've seen men like this who on the surface appear like total douchebags or just angry bulls, but women flock to them like moths to a flame. They are certainly polarizing. Women either love them or hate them, and often they, bo they both love and hate them. Mike Tyson is an example of a fire alpha. His temper and explosive rages are legendary. He went so far as to bite the ear off an opponent in a boxing match once. He beat many of his women too. You think that stops Iron Mike from getting laid? You're dreaming. Number five, the light alpha. The light alpha is usually a religious fanatic. He's so devoted to religion that he sometimes inspires others around him to believe too. 
He is never about himself and always about God or whatever his version of God is. Women are attracted to men like this because they feel like there's something greater to him. How is he not selfish or arrogant? How is he an angel while being as attractive as he is? The light alpha confuses women as the default programming tells them that this man should be beta. He is so sexy to them and they can't understand why. It is because he always defers his successes and failures to a higher power. Women can never pin anything on him. Shit tests and other attacks don't stick as his fanatical aura repels them. He is so devoted to this higher power that it seems to women that he is impenetrable physically and emotionally. In a way, his frame is that of his god. Tim Tebow is an example of a light alpha. Obviously, the reason he has the success he has is due to his years of practice, genetics, and iron will. But he doesn't think so. He thinks God did it for him, and so his zealotry makes him impenetrable to attack. If anyone criticizes him or tries to put him down, he'll reference God smiting them or not approving, and he goes on with his day. He deflects the shit test of the world with his religious armor, and that makes him attractive. Number six, the shadow alpha. The shadow alpha is known to all of us. Prisons are full of them. Shadow Alphas don't give a damn about anyone or anything. They hurt and destroy and don't care. The Shadow Alpha does everything for his own aims and has no thought for who he hurts along the ways. Uh, many CEOs are also Shadow Alphas. Shadow Alphas blatantly break the law or disrespect authority to their faces. They are ridiculously attractive to women. They are so attractive because the rules don't seem to apply to them. Women get horny thinking about the things that this guy shouldn't be doing as he'll get into so much trouble. He does them anyway. Many women also feel that if they can control a man like this, they can wield crazy power, and often they can. Imagine what it would be like to be Pablo Escobar's wife. By the way, Escobar is an amazing example of a shadow alpha. He killed and burned and destroyed many lives, all for his own aims. Many women found Escobar extremely attractive. The way that many shadow alphas shamelessly live and destroy others is a huge turn-on. Conclusion There are many different types of alphas out there. You will probably tend towards one of these types, if not two. All of the types of alpha are successful with women, but for different reasons. Understanding the type of alpha you are, or want to be, will help you guide your decisions in the future. If you don't associate with any of these, you're probably a water alpha. Good luck out there.